My name is Donald Murray, or Donald S. Murray. I was brought up in Lewis, but now I live in Shetland. I had a long career as a teacher in Stornoway and Bebecula before coming to Shetland and working there. More recently, I have turned to writing full time. I'm a Gaelic speaker, but usually I write in English. I've written quite a lot of poetry and a number of books, both factual and fictional, short stories and novels. So, um, I shall mean for said, Bas, um, Vasi Uncle Lisa, the Vasapa from the Detroit boxing, it's the boxing ring. I was Vasi Canoe Yeke on the Detroit, so I shall, you know. When sadness hits, it's sometimes like the fist of Joe Louis, Sugar Ray, those hard men of Detroit who dodged and swayed within the boxing ring. The unexpected swing of loss and grief, rocking flesh and soul in a way we can't believe. I was brought up in South Dell, a small village in Ness, at the tip of the Isle of Lewis, which had a strong storytelling tradition. This is an evidence across a wide range of separate skills, including the Campbell brothers, or Bullock of Oxford, Alistair, Norman and Donald Campbell, who wrote not only poetry but prose and drama. Their legacy lives on today in young writers like Katrina Alexi Campbell. Yet it was present in some degree in my family too. My Uncle Dolly used to write poems and inspired and often comical church sermons renowned for their wit and insight. My brother Alan wrote a book about the sinking of the Annie Jamin Vattersea. Yet it possibly goes further back than that. In my ancestry there are also Lings, a family that are known for their storytelling skills in North Uist and beyond. There are also Maclean's from Tyree in my family tree. The storytelling skills of that family have been in evidence for centuries from Gaelic bards to the likes of well-known writers like Alistair Maclean, the creator of many thrillers, and Shona Maclean over recent decades, even the Gaelic singer-comedian Norman Maclean, who wrote in both Gaelic and English. Uh, the only thing I, I can say in the way of encouraging creative writing is go ahead and do it. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Was all this responsible for the skills I have inherited? To some degree it must have been. But I also received a great deal of encouragement from an early age. Some of this came from my dad and uncle who gave me books and news magazines when I was young. Some came from my primary head teacher, Charlotte Louis or Charles MacDonald, who would suggest I entered national story competitions from an early age. As a result of this, I won countless multicolored torches from the People's Friend, an award from the Tea Company, Book Bond, and the SSPCA. I even featured in the children's comic, The Dandy, where I was responsible for a page entitled My Hometown Stornoway. Among the tales I included was one about Lewis singer Con Kennedy, an invented story about sheep with false teeth. Not that there were any of these in Ness at that time. There has been much since. My first encouragement came from short stories. I had some published in magazines like Chapman, The Scottish Review and Radical Scotland. There was even one chosen as a morning story on BBC Radio 4. Oddly, I think that together with poems, short stories are a natural forum for rural writers in places like Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Canada. They link to oral stories. And I think they have strong connections to minority languages like Gaelic, Welsh and Irish. 
being bilingual plays an important part of this. You are acutely aware of the different rhythms of language and this adds to your skills in this particular form of writing. So your voice lowers and slows when you come to a moment of a suspense when you're writing. It speeds up to when you're racing through a tale. And I think that's acutely linked to an awareness of the rhythms and music of language. Yet, over the years, I have stretched these skills, writing non-fiction and poetry books, works of drama and even songs. Four novels with settings from the Faroe Islands to Canada and the United States. All this is more than I could ever have imagined when I was young and growing up in South Delhi. Life can be utterly crazy sometimes.